Hi and welcome back to my workshop. This is Lucas, a violin maker in Cremona. I have here in my hands Son of Wood Black, a sustainable alternative for ebony. Well, not this, this is just the box. I mean, what is inside the box. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing it and I'm going to be trying it. And as you all probably already know, I'm quite allergic to ebony, so I'm really looking forward to it. As always, if you're interested in this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to hit the like button for more. Now with that said, let's get to the unboxing. So first things first, what is Sonowood? Sonowood is a Swiss company that among many things, it makes accessories for stringed instruments using sustainable wood-based products. For this they use things such as spruce, maple, walnut, beech, which means that they are not endangered species. What they claim to do is to compress the wood in a way that it acquires very similar characteristics such as density or the hardness of the woods that are most commonly used for accessories or the fingerboard. For example, here is a comparative table that I got from their website with some of the characteristics of their products and the ones of Ebony. I'm going to put a link to this and other things that you might find useful in the description. In the case of Sonowood Black, I must say that this is still a prototype, but it's coming out soon, so I don't think there will be many differences in the final version. However, I also have to say that I'm probably one of the first people to try it, as they sent me a couple of samples to give them my feedback. As it is a prototype, this also means that there are some things, such as some brown spots here, which will probably not be there in the final version. My first impressions of it, other than the brown spots that I just mentioned, are that it is harder than ebony, but also slightly heavier. And depending on how heavier it is, this could be a problem. But if the difference is not big, and if it is actually harder than ebony, then I might be able to compensate this by making a deeper chamfer on the side that then will be glued to the neck. So I have here a real piece of ebony, a piece of Sonowood Black, which is virtually the same size as the ebony, so I'm later going to be using it to compare the weight. I also have a a real fingerboard made in ebony which is not finished yet and a Corena fingerboard which is another alternative to ebony uh, and I'm going to make a review on this one soon. Now comparing all the different materials I can see that the Corena is slightly uh, grayer than the regular fingerboard of ebony and of course it doesn't have a grain because it's uh, well as I said I'm going to be talking about this one in another video. It's also quite hard. And that's more or less the sound that it makes. So this is uh, an unfinished fingerboard in ebony. This will be more or less the color and this is the grain. And this is its sound. Now the Sonowood Black it's very, very black, actually, in the parts that it's not uh, brown. It has uh, quite a regular grain. And this is the piece of ebony, but it's quite dirty on top, so you can really appreciate the color and the grain. But of course, eventually, it will end up looking something like this. I'm going to begin with the block of ebony. This one is around 319 grams. While Sonowood Black is 327, so that's an 8 gram difference between the two blocks. Now I feel that the only way that I can actually give an honest full opinion is by making a fingerboard first. To see how it feels working on it, they claim that even though it's harder than ebony, it should be easier to work on it. To see how the final result looks like, and very importantly for me, to see how it affects my allergies. I'm not going to be filming the whole process 
as I think there are quite a lot of videos already of me making a fingerboard here on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, feel free to look them up. However, I am going to be putting a couple of clips so that you can get an idea of the feeling, of the sensation that it is to work on this material. Now with that said, I'm going to start sharpening my tools and then let's make the fingerboard and I will tell you my conclusions afterwards. Oh, and just before that, I wanted to mention, in case there are musicians watching, that I recently partnered with Tonebase. They're an amazing platform that has great, great masterclasses made by top world-renowned musicians. And they're offering my followers a 30% discount if you use the code FABROVIOLENCE and a 14-day trial. So I'm going to be putting a link to that in the description below. So a very quick update in between the work. It is significantly harder than the ebony. I've only planed the surface that I'm going to be gluing to the neck and the sides and this is how the blade of the plane looks like and I had just sharpened it. Another thing that I noted is that the sawdust is brown and not black. Well, it's conclusions time. So the first and very obvious thing that I have to mention is of course the color. As you can see, after working on it for a while, it became quite brown. However, it is also very, very important that I remind you again, because they said it quite a few times, so it's only fair enough that I do so again, that this is still a prototype. So I was kind of expecting for something to this to happen. So even though it's quite clear that the first thing that I need to sort out is the color, from now on I'm going to keep talking about it as if it was perfectly black. As you could see on the video where I was working on it, the material is indeed very hard. Now this can be a good thing because it will suffer much less usage and possible deformations. Now the bad thing is that at some point it really damaged the blades of both the, the plane that I was using and the gouges. So for the people who don't really like sharpening, this can be quite of a big issue. However, I also have to say that when working diagonally with the plane to make the curve, or even when working with the scrapers, it was actually quite easy. And it was very nice not having to deal with nodes, change on the grain, or any of those problems that sometimes can happen with regular wood. Also, I have to say that it was very easy to cut. The third point that I should talk about is the weight. The fingerboard that I just made using solo wood weights almost 80 grams. And if I'm not mistaken, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that uh, most regular ebony fingerboards weight something between uh, 68 to 72 grams. However, as I mentioned before as well, this one in solo wood is much harder and resistant, which means that I could probably cut deeper on the inside and make a deeper chamfer uh, on the area where the fingerboard will be glued. This way, by removing a tiny bit more of material, I'm going to be able to reduce the weight of it a tiny bit more. Another important thing to take into consideration is the resonance of the material. A lot of makers and musicians agree that this will have a very big impact on the overall sound of the instrument. And while it's true that when hitting two pieces of ebony against each other, I'm going to obtain a brighter, maybe more open uh, sound than when I hit two pieces of sonar wood. 
Then I also have to say that Sonowood claims that the sound velocity of their material is better. And as sound is such a subjective thing, then some people might lean towards one and some people might lean towards the other. And I will have to experiment a lot more with Sonowood before being able to tell which one is my own preference. Very importantly for me was the allergy issue as well. Really? I didn't know you were allergic to ebony. You never mentioned it before. Yes, I know I mentioned it a million times in this video alone, but whenever I make a fingerboard, I'm sometimes out for two or three days afterwards, not being able to breathe very well and sneezing all the time, so it is a very important topic for me. In regards to this topic, I must say that I did not suffer from allergies at all. And I was consciously trying not to be very careful about how clean my hands were and how the area in general was. So I'm happy to say that this was a very positive experience for me. In comparison to other ebony alternatives, the good thing about Sonar Wood is that it is still wood. This means that there's a grain on the material, which should make it as easy to glue as ebony or as many other types of wood. Last but not least, sustainability. It's great that these alternatives to ebony are starting to appear for sustainable reasons. And also, if new regulations keep coming through, I'm sure it will give musicians a peace of mind to know that they have a fingerboard that will not cause them any trouble when traveling. So if you were to ask me if I'm going to start using Sonowood, then the answer is maybe. They will have to fix the color issues which I truly believe that they will by the time they release the final version, simply because if not, the product will clearly not succeed. And if I get positive feedback from the musician and its sound, then most likely I will. Also, I would probably prefer it to be a tiny bit lighter, even if it's, that means sacrificing some of the hardness. But on a personal level, I would rather deal with that than with the allergies. Now I would like to ask you a tiny, tiny favor. Please let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in a product like this, especially if you're a musician. Would you rather have ebony or an ebony alternative as a fingerboard? Also, let me know if you want me to make a review once the final version is out. Oh, and by the way, I've been receiving a lot of questions recently about my phone case that I designed myself. So if you want to support my channel and to get some nice violin making apparel all at the same time, then I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can find some more things such as t-shirts, well, phone cases, notebooks, and many other items with the signs that I made myself. Now with that said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to hit the like button, and I will see you next time.